not having a not being able to finish off stocks. That's that's a problem for the blue team. Oh god. All right. Well, that's that's what Peach does for you. If uh, especially if LSD can connect with those those forward airs and back airs from right. Ganondorf, I think blue team is will be in a good position. But if they can't, and Falco's gonna comboing either Peach or Ganon all day, they're gonna have a really hard time. So a lot of it. like the key or the the keystone of how this is gonna work is probably gonna be um, Elefante's mobility. Mm. That would be my guess. The, it looks like uh, right now Ganon and Peach are doing a pretty good job of maintaining good positioning. Because, I mean, with hitboxes like that, it's, you'd like to have, you know, at least one or both characters in between the two of you. Mm -hmm. So Ganon and Peach want the Sheik, or especially the Falco, in between them so that fairs, bears, and down smashes from Correct. Peach can, can hit something. And it looks like they're doing a good job of that right now. It looks like Quaz is, Quaz is handling the Falco, and he's very prepared for that and that was a very good jump over by oh, LSD. This, this could be really quick set. Yeah. If it this going this way. Yeah, when uh, when the blue team finishes their punishes, it goes really quickly because they put out a ton of damage. Oh god. Yeah, this this isn't isn't looking great for red team right now. I would have wall jumped it there. Uh, Quaz and then got killed. Yeah, so many times. <laughs> <I d> <laughs> 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 I'm not sure why uh, why they chose to separate there, but yeah, it looks like they're trying to seal off either the sheep, probably the sheik, and let let the peach deal with the falco. This seems to be their game plan, yeah, and it's working pretty well. Because Quaz is is very solid, so yeah. he's he knows what he's doing. So if you can, yeah, they're focusing on one at a time, which is really smart because oh that's what no. their team is good at. Oh, yeah. That was a bad stock to lose. Yeah, the stocks are actually surprising, surprisingly even right now. Look, Gunderson's pretty high, a, a big a hit from Ganon, and, and I think he might be gone. Right. The especially, yeah. But he's LSD is learning that Ganon doesn't have a good Sheik matchup. What do you think? Um, what do you think Gunderson's job is in this? Uh, in this scenario. In this scenario, I think Gunderson's job is to not die and to get Elefante out of trouble. Um, I think his job is to constantly reestablish positioning because okay. clearly that's what the big team is doing. Mm -hmm. They're gonna keep trying, they're gonna try to separate them and I think that Sheik needs to take advantage of that, mm. which means that if they're gonna separate them, so they're gonna say, we're gonna leave Elefante with Quaz, that means Gunderson has to punish a Ganondorf really hard. So if, if they're gonna separate them and they're he's gonna, just gonna wait outside and pick people off. Right. If 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 you know, if he's stuck there, he's gonna have to, to hit his punishes. Otherwise they're in trouble because Falco's fragile. Well, I mean look, his he's already gone. Right. And yeah, they're gonna have to reevaluate what they're doing. No. No. Yeah. This not not looking good for the red team. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, the, the disrespect. <laughs> yeah, they need a. I mean, it wasn't even that disrespectful because he's got a peach right behind him. That's true, <laughs> I guess. I guess when the peach is involved. Yeah, if I'm them, I take them to a smaller stage too. Uh, I think that, I think at this point you can't afford to be separated the way you were on this stage. Pokemon's massive floor just made it so easy for their game plan right. of separate the two of them. I think uh, maybe not Yoshi's that that plays Yoshi's right in. Bad idea. Right, but. I don't know, a battlefield might be a really good, good yeah, change of pace. I'm wondering what the band would be. Um, I can, yeah, I'm not sure. I could see it. Uh, they wouldn't care about a Dreamland band, so yeah, I'm not sure. All right, so let's see what they do with the Falco. That's sort of more interesting. It seems like they're sort of leaving Gunderson and just dealing with him when he gets in the way. Right. They're keeping, Gunderson yeah. Gunderson hasn't been the most proactive. No, so definitely not. He doesn't look like uh, as confident in his in his role as some right. of the other teams players here. Like when O'Reilly and Hot are playing, for example, or you and John are playing, you guys know exactly what what you're supposed to be doing. And it looks like this team, they're not exactly right. sure what they want want to be doing. Like right there, they had an advantage on the Ganon for a minute, but they couldn't figure out who was going to be point man. Correct. That would yeah. be really interesting in like another like four tournaments to see. Right. Because apparently, uh, Elefante and Gunderson wants to be a static team, mm. which okay. I'm really excited about. I think that'll be really fun to play. 
Yeah, I hope uh, I hope one or both of them doesn't decide to just switch characters just because of bad results early. Yeah, yeah. Because it seems to me like they, they just don't really have a good feel for each other yet. Right. Whereas Quaz and LSD clearly have a game plan. Mm. Yeah. yeah the, well, the blue team's game plan is it's so much more simple. Right. They, they don't have... Well, I mean, it's... It's not an issue at all. I don't. I actually am not sure if I like. If I like Ganon grabbing the edge there, I, I like it a little better double teaming the Falco when you can. Right. The yeah, it looks like Ganon is just there as a wall to keep Gunderson away from Elefante, and they're just letting Quaz deal with him. Right. Because so much of Elefante's game is predicated on lasering and spacing, in singles. Mm -hmm. So when you take that away, it looks like he struggles sometimes. In a couple of matches, I've seen him play against Trice. When Trice gets in his face, he really struggles. He, he doesn't do well in, in that close quarters combat when it's not on his terms. Oh, God. So Up tilt, roll back, wizard switch. <laughs> what a play. <laughs> That's LSD for you. The, uh, yeah, this, ooh, yeah. The Ganon's actually playing surprisingly well, holding center and just letting Peach do as she will. Because yeah. on this team, Peach is the fast one. <laughs> Which is strange. <laughs> it really is. But yeah, and then they're just recovering. It's it, you can't let that happen, especially when you're playing with the Sheik on your team. It's like you've got to hit some of these edge guards. And both of these, both of the blue team characters are so good at putting up that wall. Oh, that was nice conversion. Yeah. Uh, no, Elefante needed to turn around. Mm -hmm. I think Gunderson once again needed to not focus on hitting Quaz there. It doesn't, putting 50% on a peach near the edge in teams isn't gonna go get you anything. Right. I think you can kill the Ganon because he was at a higher percentage there. I think it's just decision making for right. their team at this point. At the same time, technically they're, they're still winning, so. And, but I mean, the blue team is getting what they want. Like watch watch the Ganondorf just keep keep the peach, not keep like, the Sheik out. Mm -hmm. like, that's what they're looking for and they're getting it. No how well he can make keep doing that, that's a different question. So yeah, Quaz definitely wanted, <laughs> wanted LSD that's to do something call there. to wait. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, see, blue team technically stock lead, but once again, it's, it's very fragile. Yeah, this will disappear quickly. Yeah, especially if Quaz keeps going in like he is with those, those sort of... Oh no! Oh yeah, those down smashes. That was close. Yeah, well, yeah, if I'm them, I... I'm not sure. Yeah, I mean, Yoshi's is the obvious pick for blue team. Yes. Assuming so it should be banned. So it should be banned, obviously. Um, if I'm them, I probably can't go back to Pokemon. I. Ooh. Yeah, I don't know. Dreamland and FD both have their have their. They'll benefits. go to. I think they'll go to either Dreamland or Yoshi's, whichever one would be banned. Assuming that Elefante pulls this out. Yeah, I was just I was <laughs> just noticing that we're talking like this is over, but technically because it's Ganon, two hits and the Falco's done. There's one. One hit and the Falco's done. Mm -hmm. All right. That's not a hit. Yeah, that's <laughs> not gonna wizard split. No, that's not a hit either. That would have hit too. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, okay, are we gonna? As long as we don't have an up tilt, I think we're good. Yeah. If Elefante plays the laser game, oh I can't. No. Oh my god. I can't see how this goes Ganon's way. Oh, that's the Elefante near. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay. All right, I have to go. All right. Good luck. I'll hold it down. It is canceled PM. Aw, oh, yeah. Okay. I think this streams down, but for posterity, the video. Keep talking. Dan's in a bad position. He might die here. And Quaz is not getting the close enough. Okay. Uh, so 60 on damage. What's up, John? Is this Gunderson? The Wonderson? Yeah, one of them is. What? We got Gunderson and three scrubs. <laughs> That's how you, that you could say that about this tournament. We've got Gunderson here and a, lot of a bunch of, I don't, no names. 
<laughs> Why, washed up, washed up old school players and no names. And then we got Gunderson. I saw him. I saw him. Did he kind of suicide last game? He was there for having the like uncomfortable time. Yeah. I think like they need to play a lot of friendlies and then they'll it'll click. Yeah. And get it. If uh, also, Sheik Falco looks so interesting. Yeah. I like it. Oh man, Quaz is doing a good job of staying alive right now. And they'll, and now and people are Gunderson. You can tell just really wants that kill. Oh, that was kind of surprising. I think. Gunderson with the ch oh missing the chain grab. I although I, I can't deny I can't. He probably doesn't want a chain grab with the peach right above him. So oh, I might be a scrub. Yeah, Th it's like that's what it looks like. It's really difficult to play as Sheik Falco because it's always clear that there's something that you can do, but uh, like you've got two choices, and one of them is good, and one of them is really yeah. bad. So Elefante, I don't know. Elefante's taking, choosing good times to laser. Wow, she, uh, Boss's second stock went away super quick. Well, he got a uh, forward smash. You know that like spacing, that Falco forward smash chipper that you can't punish. Yeah, you got, that's what he got hit with. <laughs> she uh, is gonna need some help right now. Oh wow, that was poor DI. <laughs> oh, oh the cross up. Yeah, there Gunderson's going for the edge guard versus Peach. Which is kind of a rookie mistake. Right. Gunderson, like, uh, whenever I see him lose, it's usually because of lack of experience. It's almost always lack of experience. Uh, I can't think of a time when it's not. Yep, there he's going for that edge guard again against Peach. When a double team versus Ganondorf could have been really great. Oh no. That's their Falco, most Elefante is immediately coming to help. And good, just being there made it so the Ganondorf was a little nervous right. to, to complete the edge guard. Oh no. Although okay. wait, what is Ganondorf supposed to do what? when she goes above him? I don't know. You can't like forward air, you can't up air, you can't release jump stomp. Can you release jump stomp? Uh, Sounds like you're just gonna die. Yeah, Travis. not in doubles. You All right, not be able to zero, 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 one stock left. Couldn't ask for a better end to winner semi. To lose this Sunday. Yeah, we play winner. Yep. A good start by a uh, blue team. Elefante getting in, the, getting in between them, stirring things up really well. I feel like that's one of Falco's strengths. Is he can he can one v two people. Mm -hmm. Until he gets hit. Yeah, <laughs> but like, it's kind of hard when Falco's doing Falco things. Man, is it hard to interrupt. It can be, yeah. Definitely. I mean, there's just there's just oh, strong, there's just constant strong hitboxes. All right, Ganondorf is. Oh no. Okay, good. Yeah. Um, that was pretty lucky. He definitely could have killed Sheik. Yeah. Oh, oh Quaz with the no. edge guard. Quaz with the edge guard. Gunderson doing a good job of. Uh, oh, unfortunately, no. that was. Right, that Gunderson. was pretty important. Yeah. Ah oh, man. Oh, close game. Yeah, really close, close that. game. That was a fun set to watch. Alright, now we're gonna pop him. 